Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous tux bows using Christmas wired ribbon. Now with the wired ribbon, obviously I do remove the wire. I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. And with these bows, although they are so simple and quick to make, you can make some really lovely designs because the ribbon you can get in the wired versions are so pretty, like this canvas style one here. And I will point out that the best ribbon to buy for these bows is the thicker sort of canvasy ribbon like these. I did try out this one here, which is like a wired ribbon, but it's kind of a silky thin ribbon. And when you try to make a tux bow with these, as you can see, I haven't finished this one, but I just gave it a go. And yeah, it just doesn't hold a very nice shape like these ones did. So do buy the nice canvasy sort of thicker ribbons with the wires in for these bows. These two styles here, I just got these from my local supermarket. They had these down the Christmas decoration aisle and I thought these were so gorgeous. I do love tartan, especially at Christmas. So this is the one I'm going to show you now in this tutorial because I've already done this mistletoe one. So I've got two pieces here, but you actually only need one. I'm going to show you how to do this in a sewed version, or if you don't like to sew, I will show you how to freehand it also. So you will need one piece of ribbon and you need to cut your ribbon to 23 centimetres in length or just over or around nine inches in length. And then using some pliers or tweezers, I just use these tweezers here just something to grab hold of the wire. First of all, you want to just get a hold of the fabric and just push it down on that corner until it reveals the wire. So as you can see there, you can just see that wire poking out the end. And then pop in your tweezers or your pliers onto the wire, grab a hold and then just start to pull. And as you can see, it simply just slips out of the side of the ribbon. I do keep my wire because sometimes these can come in handy for other crafts. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to pop my tweezers on there push that fabric down a bit to reveal the wire and then once I've got a little piece of the wire showing pop my tweezers on there again then I use my thumb and finger to get a good grip and just simply slide it out like that. So now as you can see I've got my ribbon here unwired and it hasn't affected the look of the ribbon at all. Taking a lighter next, you will need to heat seal that raw edge and this, this will just get rid of any frays and prevent any further fraying. Do be careful because some of these ribbons are quite thin and they melt quite easily. So I've heat sealed the ends. Next, I'm going to fold in half to find the centre. Again, I like to use just a little bit of heat just on the corner don't matter if it melts a little bit because you won't see that underneath the center strip so I can now see that across this line here which is handy so I've got a line in the pattern this is the center of my bow so now I'm going to bring the ends in and I'm going to slightly overlap the center so I'm overlapping it from the center around a half a centimeter and I've got a couple of fabric clips here. You can use hair clips if you've got them handy, but I'm just using these fabric clips and I'm just holding that side in place. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side. So bring this side in and again, overlapping the center. So this is the center around half a centimeter. Again, popping a clip on there to hold that in place. And then I'm just going to slide these clips over to hold them in place. So when I flip it over, I can now stitch across the middle and the clips aren't in the way. So I've got my needle here with some extra strong thread and I've already popped a knot in the end. And I'm going to do six stitches across the center, going in through the top first 
for my first stitch. One, two, three. So I've got my first three stitches on this half. Now I'm going to mirror the other three on the other half. One, two, and my sixth final stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, coming up through the bottom to the top. So it looks like this at the top. And this is the underside. And now I can remove my clips. I'll set those aside. And you can then pull in your pinch. And then I like to wrap the cotton around a couple of times, keeping it all held together tightly. And then I'm going to go through this last edge, just catching a little bit of the ribbon. And then before I pull it completely tight, I'm going to go through the loose loop a couple of times. And that will just form a knot and hold that pinch in place so I can cut off the excess thread. So that is my single tux bow. Now before I add my hair clip and the centre piece, I'm just going to take this second piece and I'm going to repeat all of those exact same steps, but I will show you how to freehand pinch in the centre. So I've got this far and now we're going to freehand our pinch in the middle so we don't have to sew it. So to do that, I can see where my centre is by eye because I used my lighter to mark those creases in there. So this is the centre. So first of all, like this one, you want your first hump to be in the centre. So I'm going to push it up in the centre, folding the two outside edges downwards and I'm keeping my thing my thumbs and fingers in this central area so folding the outside pieces down to make that middle hump and I'm going to work on this right side first I'm just going to remove this clip and I'm going to bring this side also up and then down so now we've got two humps keeping those pinched I'm going to remove this last clip and then make my final hump on the right side. Like that. And then I am going to use thread again. And I'm just going to pop this piece of thread under my thumb, keeping that pinch in place. And I've left a little bit of a tail. This is to tie it off at the end. Making sure it's central. I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times and then tie it off in a knot on the underside. And then trim off those two tail ends. And that is how you freehand your pinch. So as you can see, they both look exactly the same, but this one was done freehand and this one was sewn. Now we're ready to add our clip and our center strip. So for my bows, I'm using these double prong 45 millimeter clips and I'm lining them with some matching red ribbon. So I'm going to heat seal the end of this ribbon. This is a one centimeter wide ribbon. And I'm going to use this to line my hair clip. Now this is optional, this is just something that I like to do. So I just simply wrap mainly the top half of the bow, so this is the bottom, and I'm now going to wrap it over the top. I'm just going to trim it off where I need it. So this piece will come over. And I'm just going to line that over the top of the clip and that glue will stick on both sides and hold them down together. So that is my half lined clip. And then I'm going to glue this onto the bottom of my bow. So 
And then to wrap the centre, you will need a length of ribbon around five centimetres. So I've cut that off here and then I've cut it in half. I've used one half to wrap my other bow and this one obviously to wrap this one. I've taken a lighter and I've heat sealed carefully around that raw edge. And now I'm going to fold these side pieces in towards the middle to make it around a centimetre wide. Again, I'm going to use my lighter to heat seal that end and just bond those fibres together and that will hold it in place. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So making sure it's the same width all the way up. And just heat seal that ends together. I might need to cut a little bit off. That might be slightly too long. But you end up with this strip around one centimetre wide. I'm going to place some glue on one end. And then place this under my bow. Making sure it is central. And then I'm going to start wrapping the centre. And on the first go round, I just like to add a little bit of glue over that piece of thread just to make sure that stays nicely covered. And yeah, it's slightly too long, so I will cut another sort of just under a centimetre off there. Again, re-bond that end with my lighter. And then stick that last side down underneath the hair clip. And then I'm just going to flip the bow over reshape it a little bit if needed and there you have your gorgeous tartan hair bow using wired ribbon and there are the other two as you can see the thicker the ribbon the nice and wide your bow will sit Again, this one was a little bit thinner than this one. You can feel this one's a lot more stiffer and this one was softer. So it is slightly more narrow than this one, but it is still a really gorgeous Christmassy hair bow. You could even make a double tux where you make two of the tux bows and then join the two together like that and then pop a clip underneath and wrap the centre. So you could have a double tux bow. So that is another option for you. So yeah, that is an idea for you using Christmas wired ribbon. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. I'll be back again soon. Bye.